I recently did a video about why when I'm paddling I always keep my life jacket on, my PFD, personal flotation device. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, check it out and uh, also uh, have a look in the comments as well because I uh, got some great comments from people expanding on the topic, giving some extra thoughts as well on top of what I said. So yeah, do check it out. In it I sort of had a little look at what I keep in my front pockets and everything. It wasn't very extensive and a couple of people noticed like things like my whistle and some other, other bits. And uh, so I thought today I would do like my full loadout, like everything that I carry on me in my PFD. There'll be times when I don't carry all of this stuff with me. Uh, like for instance, if I'm just popping out for the afternoon just for a quick local paddle. But if I'm out on a trip, then I'll definitely have all of this stuff with me. So, right, without further ado, let's take a look. I just realized I said without further ado and then I rolled the intro which I guess is a good example of a do uh, but we, we will really get into it now okay right so first things first my phone uh, always always whenever you're on the water have your phone in a proper waterproof pouch like this one um, I've also got my car key in here as well I take it off the main key ring all that other stuff that I'm not going to need so that my phone and my car key are always safe uh, lashed to me because if you fall in you capsize you don't want it floating away or sinking to the bottom this goes for pretty much everything that's in my PFD actually it's all tied it's all lashed and I check the knots regularly to make sure they haven't come loose it's a nice quiet boat probably got electric engines here comes, the, here comes the wake, so I might have a little bit of a wobble in a second. Uh, I've also got my, uh, my gloves, my Helicon, uh, these like woodsman gloves. Uh, great for if I'm having to climb up on a muddy bank, pull myself up, especially when there's a lot of goose poo around. I want to keep your hands clean. As mentioned, uh, we've got my whistle. Oh, permanently lashed, really accessible. You know, got it so I can grab it and use it uh, whenever I need to. Uh, it's for emergency use. This is super loud. This it's like over 100 dB uh, for attracting attention. If you know maybe someone another boater can't see you, is about to run you over, so, you know that kind of thing. Or if you're in an emergency, you need to blast your SOS signal. Next, I've got my um, British Canoeing on the Water membership. Uh, I've done a whole other video about this as well, which you should check out, particularly if you paddle in England and on the inland waterways, on rivers and canals and stuff, you should definitely have a look at that because it's quite a complicated subject and you do need to be licensed uh, to get access to a lot of the waters uh, in, in England and Wales. Rescue knife, another extremely important uh, piece of safety equipment that you should always have on you when you're on the water, along with your PFD, your whistle and some drinking water. This is no matter how short you're popping out for or if you're just in shallow water on the local canal or whatever, it doesn't matter. You never know when you're going to get caught in fishing tackle. You can get in a danger. You can drown in, in shallow water. Always have some method of uh, rescuing yourself in, in case you get into that kind of trouble. Um, this one is a water haul. It's specific for kayakers. And uh, what I like about this one, uh, it has a, a rounded tip here. So it's great for like, if you use inflatables like I do, if you drop it, it's not gonna <laughs> puncture your, your inflatable. Uh, it's less than three inch cutting blade, serrated, so you cut through anything. And uh, the handle, I like this. This is made out of recycled fishing tackle. Uh, they uh, collect it all washed up on the beaches and stuff and they make these beautiful handles from it. So uh, yeah, nice little, little sort of eco touch there. Now for the main compartment. Uh, it's double zip this one and I keep them, the two zips right at the top and in the center. And there's a reason for that. You basically always want to be able to access anything in your PFD with one hand, just so you can keep control of the craft, or if you are in an emergency, you need to grab on for dear life to something. Yeah, everything should just be one-handed, left or right. Right, first thing I've got is this, uh, this is just a cheap 
plastic emergency rain poncho. It was like a couple of quid from Mountain Warehouse or something. Just always keep one of those in there. Uh, obviously, if I'm, I know there's going to be wet conditions, I know it's going to be raining. Uh, if I'm paddling out in the winter, for instance, I'd wear a proper, you know, fully waterproof uh, cagoule, you know, the, the proper kayaking ones. But yeah, out in nice weather, especially in the summer, you don't always want to be wrapped up in that sort of stuff, sweating all day. So this one I'll just do in case there's, you know, sudden downpour. Actually features in one of my recent trips uh, where I got caught in a horrendous storm, a proper torrential downpour. But yeah, I was I managed to pull over to the bank, get it on quickly. And uh, yeah, I was paddling in pretty pretty full-on rain for a bit till the thunder and lightning started and uh, I did the job got some funny looks as well next I've got a bandana just million uses with these things or mostly just to keep my hands dry sometimes I have to you know reach out and grab something soggy like a chain when you're going through a lock or something like that so and um, or just give my paddle a quick wipe uh, if I if I know I'm going to be in quite rough conditions or wet conditions anything kind of sketchy then I'll keep this in a, in a proper waterproof pouch like exactly like one of these basically uh, because it's always nice to have you know be able to crack it open and have the ability to dry your hands your face if you get dunked you capsize especially if you're in the sea where you, sometimes you just get totally drenched everything gets wet your clothes are wet your wet your boat your equipment you just want to get your phone out and you know uh, take a photo or something but you can't because your hands are soaking wet next up snacks Just handy having uh, you know a little little snack pouch in your you know your front pocket and I these days I always take peanuts as my snack sometimes I have like uh, jerky as well uh, but I've or biltong uh, but um peanuts are great I try and avoid chocolate these days because it just melts inside your pouch and everything gets really messy and sticky. Another thing to mention of course is the hydration. Getting this absolutely changed my padding life. You know, no more you know, carrying a like one litre bottle of water that's sort of either rolling around inside the bow or strapped to the deck and getting hot in the sun. This is just perfect. I can drink while you know, sip while I'm going along paddling. You actually hydrate yourself more because it's so convenient. Uh, you know, when the, with the bottle, I always found myself like rationing, rationing my water, only grabbing it when I really needed to because it wasn't that convenient, uh, which is not a good thing, you know. And I can carry more as well. This is two liters. You, you wouldn't carry a two liter bottle, I don't think, when you're out uh, on the water. So. It's great. I mean, you know, I, sometimes I've got enough for my day's hydration when I'm paddling, but then I've got enough water left over for a bit of cooking when I get to my campsite. Yeah, so pretty cool. Not all PFDs come with these hydration uh, compartments. Uh, you do have to check, but I think if you if, if you haven't bought a PFD yet and you're looking at them, I really really recommend you get one uh, that you can stick a hydration bladder in. So the next thing, now a huge, serious, serious point to make here, disclaimer, never ever drink and paddle. This is my titanium hip flask, usually got rum in it. This is only, and I repeat, only for the end of the day when I'm finished, and I've landed and I'm setting up camp and I know that I am absolutely not gonna be doing any more paddling for the rest of the day or evening. Uh, it's just a little, little, uh, little nightcap, little celebration to uh, reward myself after a day of paddling. Bit of comfort around the campfire, and uh, yeah, a little nip to keep me warm before I go to bed. Usually in a, you know, in, a, in a quite a chilly hammock. So, uh, also like outdoorsmen have been carrying spirits in hip flasks forever, for other uses as well. Yeah, you know, you've got like quick antiseptic if you injure yourself. Uh, you've got an accelerant for fire lighting uh, in, the, in the rain in, a, in an emergency, for instance. So that's why I usually have it with me. Another thing I might have in my front pouch as well uh, would be sometimes I'll print off like maybe a map or a guide of a trail or an area that I'm going to. For instance, like when I did the Medway Canoe Trail, they've got a really good PDF that I printed out, just kept in my, my pocket. I mean, you don't really need a map of a river. You can either go one of two directions, but 
these some of these things can be quite handy for like you know where to get out and go to the toilet or grab a cup of tea or some camping spots that sort of thing or you can write your own notes on it so yeah that's something else i might keep in there oh yeah something i've got in here finally So if you're new to paddling, I don't know if uh, anyone's told you yet, but you are required to be at least grade six harmonica player. Uh, that is because this is the way that us kayakers communicate with each other on the water over distances. It's the best way. So uh, make sure you uh, you do that. Did, uh, did no one? Did you not know that? No one? No one tell you? Uh, so uh, yeah, I have a little little harp, little mouth organ. Um, I would actually really love to, when I'm going out in the outdoors, uh, bring my uh, guitar or banjo with me, but it's just a bit too big to stick in the back of the kayak. It's not very practical. So uh, bring the harmonica. Also, it's because, as many of you might have figured out, I am just one massive cliche. But there we go. <laughs> Right, that's everything. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed my PFD show and tell. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think uh, I'm forgetting something and that's something I should always take with me when I'm out on the water. Let me know what it is you carry in your PFD. Uh, I'm always learning stuff, and whenever I put these videos out, I always learn more in the comments. People throwing some really good ideas and tips and suggestions and stuff. So thanks, guys, and keep them coming. And in the meantime, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.